Hope for Youth Sierra Leone, senior members and local leaders. I greet you all in the name of peace. More especially, Dr. Prince Haisibo, the CEO and founder of Hope for Youth. My name is Fode Mwewa. I am here to present on the topic Empower Australian Women as a Change Agents. Women are the opportunity of wealth and power. Women play an important role in society and the whole family is depend on women for their daily activities. They play the role of mother, wife, homemaker, cook, teacher, friend, nurse, all at the same time while catering to everybody's needs. Women who are in job have to fulfill the job responsibilities while managing home and family. The life of women is very hard, but she gets little or no appreciation. There is a lot of women who are extremely talented and multitasker, but no recognition in society, more especially Australian which I am promptly begging and fighting for them to be well pronounced zero. However, I may like to define the key terms. Women empowerment is a process that creates power in women, like men or even above men, positively. Change agent is someone who promotes and helps positive things to happen within any society or organization, more especially by changing women positively. However, here are five highlighting ways of empowering them. One. Gender inequality. One of the major hindrances in the growth and advancement of women is gender inequality. This means that we treat males and females unequally, even for the same tax. This is generally in the case of rural societies. A male child is always encouraged by family to go to school while the female child is told to learn household, household works. I promptly believe that allowing a female child to educate to be well pronounced will help the country nation to highly confidence and pronounce secondly domestic violence as divorce is still a taboo in Sierra Leone society many women are suffering from abusive marriages as they are not empowered, they fear to stand up for their rights. If we want to empower women, then domestic violence has to be stopped at any cost. And they have to be secured equally as men. Thirdly, economic independence. As female, we are given poor education 
no edu or no education they are not able to get equal or good jobs so either they have to stay at home or do lesser paid jobs those the male always remain the bread earners of the family so the women hardly get economic independence furthermore if we wish to see a nation that develop economically on the global front then it's very important to have women empowerment the actual women empowerment will come by making women economically independent we are in they can be a great entrepreneurs in business sis and increase the economic of the country or a nation fourthly women and education equality or quality education is a key to women's empowerment either formal that is up to university level or informal that's by adult literacy education like the one at the juba lombly chapter supported by dr prince haisibu the ceo and founder of hope for youth in all over sierra leone slowly with the increase in literacy level and awareness society has started giving importance to education many parents today want to educate their daughters equally to their sons many women today are scientists lecturers collectors etc lastly women and decision making women empowerment is also means when the society will also as accept women as decision makers for the economic and financial decisions of the family we shall encourage women from all the sections of society to make their own decisions they need to they need not take permission from men the government and several ngos are making effort to empower women by creating awareness more especially the first lady called Fatima Bio the government should run a large number of projects for education and skill development of women so that they can get economic independence thinking of society is also changing slowly more and more numbers of women are getting a quality education but the true meaning of women empowerment will be achieved when gender inequality will be eliminated we need to give equal opportunities to women for equal pay equal respect as equal to men we look forward to such a nation god bless you all for your kindly understanding